everybody. Yes, I am finally doing a, another video and you probably see a new change, but um, in my last one I did my favorite books, my favorite new love books obsessions and I had blue hair, but um, the blue was fading so I bit the bullet and just did purple. So now I have pink and purple hair. So this video I've actually wrote down ideas of what I wanted to do for new videos and since I want to do like lifestyle for this channel I thought I would do my tips and tricks for maintaining dyed hair and some of my favorite hair products. So that's what this, oh, <laughs> that's what this video is. Um, I'm just going to put a disclaimer, I am not a hairstylist, I am not an expert. These are just tips that I learned that help me maintain my hair when it is dyed because we all know that if you dye your hair, there is no such thing as low maintenance. So that's my little disclaimer. So I'm going to get into my tips and then I'm going to show you um, some of my favorite um, hair products and I'm not being sponsored by these products. These are just products that I love to use. So. Um, Yes, I don't have the bottle because when I did my hair purple, I mistakenly threw it out, but I'm going to put pictures and the link down to my favorite hair dye link below. Um, my new favorite hair dye is called Arctic Fox. Now, <laughs> hi my cat. <laughs> Arctic Fox is a company based in California by makers Kristen Leanne and Ryan Morgan. It is a 100% vegan, cruelty-free hair dye, which um, if you know me, I am vegan. I don't eat products. I don't <laughs> use products that are tested on animals. Now, that means obviously they're not tested, but vegan, there's no animal products in it and there's not tested on animals, which is the first thing I look at when I purchase products and see if they are vegan and cruelty free. So Arctic Box is, it is a semi-permanent hair color, which means it does wash out after uh, 16-ish washes. But there are, I'm gonna get to it, but there are tips to maintain the color for longer. Now, when I first used Arctic Fox, I had this pink color is from an ombre hair dye that my good friend did for me a couple, like I would say maybe a month, almost two months ago. And I liked it. I liked it, but I really wanted purple hair. Now, when I had the other color in my previous video, um, the ends was blue. Now, what was happening is the blue was fading and it was turning like a really light green. The blonde was coming in and I'm like, uh, uh, no, I do not want pink and green hair. So I still had the Arctic Fox purple and I basically squeezed that bugger into a bowl and I did my roots again and the ends. Now with Arctic Fox, it's really, really, really thick. It's just loaded with conditioner. So it's actually really good for your hair. It's not like some dyes that you dye it and your hair feels like straw and it feels horrible. Arctic Fox actually preserves your hair every time you dye it, which is even better. So now that I told you about Arctic Fox, there's arrays of colors, but this is called Purple Rain and I love it. So my tips to maintain colored hair for longer. I actually learned from Kristen Leanne, some from Kristen. I put the link down below of her tips, but I only wash my hair once a week because the more you wash it, the more the color is going to go down the drain. And we all know that is just not acceptable. <laughs> you pay money and you put in time to dye your hair. You do not want it to go down the drain. So I only wash my hair once a week, but when I do wash it, it is a process. Um, I actually learned recently from Alexis, I'm not, Alexis May, I think her name is, I'll put the video down below, but she told me a process to do that maintains your hair 
for longer when you only do wash it once a week. So what I do, get in the shower, this is going to be very uncomfortable for the very first time you do it, but trust me, it does help your hair. Um, wash your hair in the coldest water possible. I know it sounds horrible when you take showers, especially for women, we want to take it hot, we want to relax. But what the cold water does is it closes the hair cuticles and it prevents your hair from, your hair color from fading and going down the drain. So wash your hair in the coldest water possible. Don't just rinse it out. Wash your hair in the cold water the entire time. So what I do is I take my shampoo and I wash it once and then I wash it out. And the second time since you washed it already with the shampoo, really massage it in and you start to get suds. When you get suds, that's a good thing. And then I wash the second shampoo out for the second time and then I only put conditioner at the ends of my hair, at the ends, because you put it on the top, which for my hair is so fine, it weighs it down. So put the conditioner um, like right under my ear is what I do and wash the ends and it will um, moisturize your tips. And then I wash out the conditioner. Um, usually when I put the conditioner in, I put my hair in a bun with a clip and I wash my um, face with my moisturizer, wash my body, and then wait like four or five minutes and wash your conditioner out. Um, once that is done in cold water, your hair will, this is day two, I washed my hair on, what was it? on Sunday and my hair still feels like I just washed it. So that process really does work for me. Um, I try not to, I use conditioner, but I try not to use that much products, but I do use this Fade, Fade Defying Orchid Oil by OGX. This works great. Um, color protects oil with UV sun filters. Co protects colored hair tresses. So this works great. I just massage this in and spray it when my hair is still damp and it smells ah, oh. This smells like a garden. So your hair is going to smell amazing. Um, my shampoo, hold on one second. <laughs> my favorite shampoo is L'Oreal Pure Envy Sulfate Free Shampoo. Now it is really important to use a sulfate free shampoo because sulfate strips the colors from your hair. And this is 100% cruelty free and rosemary is good for your hair also. So between this and the orchid oil, your hair is going to smell like a bouquet. Um, yeah, and it's cruelty free. L'Oreal's 100% um, cruelty free, 100% free of sulfate, free of hair salt. So this is great. Um, another, I have to hurry because I have a repairman come on his way. Um, Christy Leanne told me to do is take your shampoo, take your dye and put it in your shampoo so every time you do wash your hair, you're refreshing the color. Um, I did it with this one, but I also bought a shampoo that says no dye that doesn't have it so I don't always have to put color in my hair every single time, but these are great. and. Yeah, these are all my products that I use. And those are my tips and tricks and products um, that I use when I want to preserve my color. And I am thinking of a new color, red and orange. So I'll keep you updated. All the links are down below. And I'll see you all later. Bye.